Okay, we're going to go through the uh, quick installation of Subsonic Music Server to stream your music remotely. Um, here we go. Just one amp going down there. Uh, install the uh, setup file after it finishes downloading here. You can see the download is going pretty quickly. It's about 34 megs total, so depending on your connection speed, it could take a minute or two to download this. Um, and there we are. Go ahead and click on that to launch the download. Run. Right Setup wizard. Um, I've got a 64-bit operating system, so it does have the x86 there. Um, if you're running Windows on a 32-bit, you won't have that. It'll just say program files. But either way, you can leave it in that uh, in that default folder. Click install. And there we go, Subsonic has been installed. Now I'm going to move my taskbar over here so you can see what it's got. It's got the uh, little bar down here. I don't know if you caught it before it went green, but it um, goes green once the service is started. You can double click it to see the you know, basic basic instructions that it's going on. I've got it. It's got running using 10 megabytes of memory right now. And it shows where you can actually access it here by going to HTTP localhost. Now, I, I changed right the skin of mine. Um, you can do that as well once you have it set up. Uh, you do also need a, a router that supports UPnP or, or to set the port forward yourself. Um, there's very good documentation about this here on, a, on the Subsonic user forum. Um, you can go right, right here and I'm not going to go through that right now but it's super mellow super easy um, getting, getting it all set up here um, so then you can log in with your, your your login credentials and basically you can access this anywhere um, it'll get all your music library going you can access it on your phone there's an Android app and an iPhone app um, if you go to if you pay the donation fee you can also register it uh, so you can have a subsonic you know, tofer.subsonic.org uh, uh, domain name, so you can access that from anywhere. Um, it works kind of like dynamic DNS, which you could also use for free if you didn't want to do the donation. Um, I went ahead and did the donation. I think it's totally worth it. It's a, it's a great product, and it's really easy to set up. And as you can see, I've got my whole music library, um, and it works great on my phone wherever I am uh, for free. It took about two minutes to set up.